welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Windows Server 2008 R2 video. Now before we get started, if you're enjoying these video series that I put on here on YouTube for you to enjoy and to learn with, you would really truly enjoy my online class for Windows Server 2008. It's very easy to follow. It's videos just like the one you're watching now. And then you just take really simple quiz questions work your way through the course and then at the end you get a certificate from me here at Jack's Tech Corner to add to your portfolio. So once again just go to jackstechcorner.com and click on online classes and you can sign up today. So with that said today we're going to show you here how to create a scheduled task on your network to push this out to all your computers so you don't have to go out there and touch each individual computer to do something to it. I mean, why do we have to do that if we have a domain controller and everybody's looking to the domain controller anyway? So we're going to do this through our group policy manager. So let's go ahead and click on the start button and simply go to your administrative tools and group policy management. Once we're into our group policy management, we're going to click on your domain name right here under domains click on the little pull down menu and then we are going to go into our GPO or group policy objects click that pull down menu and in our group policy objects we have objects listed in here and all you have to do to create a new one is just click on right click on there and create new all right and what these are is basically just different policies that we're pushing out. So we're going to go down here to where it says tasks. And we can see here that tasks are located. The location is for staff users. We enforced it no, but we did link it. And then security filtering. This GPO is actually getting applied to the groups, users, or computers of authenticated users. So this just simply is telling our group policy management when anybody that's authenticated through the through the server logs in go ahead and push this task out to their actual computer now we're going to right click on top of this tasks and go to edit once we do that just bring us up here a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on and I will minimize this one what we're going to do now is under computer configuration because we don't want this to get pushed out by the user, right? We want it to get pushed out to each individual computer when a user logs on. Once that um, task is on that computer, no matter which user logs back on, if the task is there, then it will be fine. If not, then it will create it. So let's go to computer configuration under preferences. Click the little triangle here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go under control panel settings. Click that. From there, we're going to go right down here to the bottom. This is your control panel, just like you see on your computer. We're going to go to scheduled tasks. Let's click on that. Now over here in the actual task pane where it says name, if you right click in here, we can go to new scheduled task. Now you can make it a Windows Vista or later task or Windows XP task. We're just going to say scheduled task because everything on our network is anything from Windows XP to Windows 7. So we know we'll be good. Now we can either update a task or we can click the pull down menu, replace it. Say if you want to change a time on when the task is going to run, you may want to replace it. If the task becomes a problem on your network, we did one recently that was called a shutdown task because people were leaving their computers on at night so we actually created a task that would automatically shut their computers down at six o'clock but we ran into some issues where people were working a little longer than six so hence we had to come in here and we said delete it it went out it took it off all the computers and then we reestablished it at a later time we could have actually updated it but we decided to delete it and start over this one though we're going to create because we know it's not out there now the task that we are going to create is called defrag. 
I know we probably don't need to defrag our hard drives as much as we used to, right? But let's just say for the sake of this lesson, we're going to create one called defrag. Now the program we're going to run, if we click on the uh, little button there, we'll come into our uh, file system. Just go to your C drive, Windows, and System32. And maybe if I type in D, yeah, let's go down. I guess we got to scroll down and look for this here. What we're looking for, though, is the application. They are alphabetically uh, in order, so it does make it a little easy. We are simply looking for defrag, defrag exe. Click on OK. If you want to add arguments to that defrag, you can add the arguments there. We can start it in, and we will start it in that same directory. Let's see here. And we will start it in Windows. System 32, just like so. Now we're going to run it as, and I always like to run it as the administrator, just to make sure I have full access right to that computer. Okay, you put your administrator password in, just like so. It is enabled. The schedule is tasked to run at a specific time. It's already enabled, so we're good there. We we'll click Apply, then we're going to click on Schedule. Now, on the scheduling, I want to run it weekly because I want to run it one day a week is fine for defragging. Would, would you not agree? Sure it is. Let's just say every Wednesday. And we're going to run this at, say, 8 o'clock p.m. So at this point, your users will have to know to leave their computer on every Wednesday. Just leave it turned on, and we'll we'll take care of it. Then we can defrag it, and then we can write the shutdown script on top of this, then have it shut down, say, at maybe 11 o'clock. That would be a safe time after your defrag. The other settings here, I just leave these as default, and I don't worry about these settings. Same as these ones here. Just click Apply and OK. So you can see now that it is ready to go. And the defrag is in there. Now, you know, or maybe you don't know, you can go to each computer and you can actually bring up a DOS window, right? A command window, CMD. And we can go in here and type in GP for group policy, update, and then put a forward slash force, enter. What that would do then is force that policy onto that computer with the normal logged in user. If you if, if you feel that's necessary, I don't think it is. Uh, I do it on my server once I put a new policy in just to make sure it pushes it into my GPOs. But as far as the user and this, the client side goes, when they log in, they're going to get that anyway on that computer. So, I mean, you can spot check them in a couple of days, but I'm really sure they're going to be there. So I hope you've enjoyed this little task on group policy management and using it to push out a scheduled task. And I hope you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channels here. And please, like I said, check out jackstechcorner.com. Check out the online class. I'm sure you're going to be very, very pleased you did. Uh, there's a lot of students in there now taking the course. It's uh, very, very inexpensive. I kept it that way. Um, and a lot of people may say, well, it's too cheap. It must not be a good course. But... I kept it that way because I know I've struggled to find ways to pay for some of these courses. So I wanted to kind of give something back and make it inexpensive enough for everybody out there to take the course. So hopefully I'll see you there. And if not, I'll see you here next time on Jack's Tech Corner for another Windows Server 2008 R2 video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.